Or Taste of Finland. Finland. Say again? No, the taste of things. Exactly, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Mate, smell, sorry, smell it. It's, it's, it smells... You nailed it on the head when you said it smells like a jacket and you've been around a bonfire. Yeah, yeah. That is what they should call it. Do, do bonfire you know, jacket. You proved me wrong. Like, yeah, yeah. Dave, no. oh, Shaman. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Mexican in the Kitchen. Today, we're not cooking. We're in a different kitchen, as you can see. Uh, we're going to try some of the... Shaman spirits, there's some vodkas, there's some other liquors, they have some different flavors, they're mostly very Finnish flavors. And well, we're not from Finland and we'll see what we think about them. Uh, can you tell a bit where you're from? How long have you been in Finland? Yeah, I'm from the Cook Islands, it's in the South Pacific. And I've been in Finland for about 16 years now, coming up to 16 years. Yep, uh, my name's Luke, I'm from England, and I moved to Finland in February 2016. So yeah, been about five, six years as well. Yeah, that's around the same. I've been here like six, six, a bit more than six years. So we are familiar with many of these flavors already. Many of these might not be so, uh, especially this tar, like derba. That's a flavor, at least I had seen in liquor, so yeah, same. let's see. The first we're gonna try is this shaman vodka, plain vodka. This has no flavor, no nothing. I don't know if you drink vodka very often. Yeah. I don't. I don't usually have it neat. No, I, I oh. drink vodka drink. So this is my main drink, isn't it? So this, this we see. Nice to try a new vodka. So first we're gonna try it by itself. Go easy on it. These are brands from Oulu. They make their own destillates. It's local. Let's give it a spin. Cheers. Cheers. It's pretty good. Smooth. Very yeah. smooth. It's quite smooth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah not as like. Like not as you know, like a lot of cheap vodka, and sort of feel like um, cleaning alcohol almost. Yeah. So that's really, yeah, yeah. really nice. Yeah, really good. Yeah, not bad. I'm gonna bother that. Yeah, it probably will get better. A bit like more chill. Yeah, for maybe sure. throw it into the freezer. You can definitely have a few shots. Yeah, no, really nice. Yeah, big fan of that one. Good start. Good start. Uh, now I'm going to pour one more. Oh, just a bit more. So what are you driving? <laughs> As we said, we don't usually drink it by it uh, on its own, so we can maybe pour into some ice, maybe have a bit of lime, a couple lime wedges, just like a basic vodka soda. I like having some lime, some people have some lemon. I saw, for example, on their website, they have a recipe for a Vodka tonic, just with a, a slice of cucumber. Oh, yeah. It sounds pretty decent. Woo. Set it. That's <laughs> <laughs> a professional. No, I much prefer vodka. Vodka lime soda is the one for sure. Um, in Finland, they often get, they often put a lemon in instead of the lime. You know, it's just, I would prefer it with the lime. I remember back in the Aussie bar days, they was used to model the lime for you as well. Really, really nice crushed lime. Oh, I remember those days. Yeah, the good old days. I remember those days very well. <laughs> I've been to a few bars and asked for that thing. I was yeah. like, can you smash the lime? And then they just throw it in. Yeah. And I'm like, I'll have it like that. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Cheers. 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 Let's try this. I just think this is very smooth. Like. It's not strong at all. Mm -hmm. I served sure. half, a, uh, half a shot because it's a small glass, but... No, definitely. I think this is definitely a vodka I would buy. Yeah, but agreed. It's quite nice. It's local. It's not harsh so at all, is it? It's just really smooth and, and not, not as strong tasting as, like I said, some of the cheap vodkas can be a bit harsh, almost. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. just really, really easy. It's almost like a sandpaper feeling. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, when it burns, I just yeah. like... Like I say, yeah. cleaning alcohol is almost the way I see them. You know, it's kind of... They, mm. almost no, like medical true. alcohol, but this is... Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. This is pretty good that you can even double it. Double the amount of alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. 
there's not really a lot of new vodka brands that you see that come in and you know uh, like there's lots of cheap ones that you see in like an alcove all the using the plastic bottle all that kind of stuff yeah. it's just it's really rough but um there's that, put, that puts me off eh? yeah exactly you know, <laughs> buying something like a spirit <laughs> of a plastic bottle it's like yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. quality there yeah, mate yeah, yeah exactly and so this is yeah no, really good i was surprised because well i was reading they have been around since 98. Uh, i hadn't seen it uh, yeah. also i go to a very small alcohol so they don't have like a sure, big yeah. variety but i think this is quite decent so do you know what it retails for at no, all? No, we know. I don't really know. I didn't check the price. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I did I, I did check, but... I don't remember. remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was not bad. Mm. Uh, that I remember. Like, all these were quite, like, on a decent yeah, yeah. price range, so... Ah, oh, pretty good. Yeah, I have to pick up a bottle of that, because, as I said, you know, vodka soda is my go-to, isn't it? So, I have to get a bottle of that in my fridge to, to try. Yeah. Yeah, I've been starting to drink um, seltzers nowadays. Yeah. So this is probably a go-to thing now. Yeah. It's good to look at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my uh, goal. So what the hell you like? The, the last two years. <laughs> <laughs> the last two years. But now it's probably yeah. every year I reach my visit. I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's as far as I go. I don't know. I, I don't drink that much vodka nowadays. But I remember when I was younger, when I was maybe in university, that was our goal too. I was always... Uh, That's why I was happy to try all mm -hmm. these. Because I remember what we used to drink was the this kind of flavored vodka. So yeah. I do not use like juices or anything. It yeah. was mostly Sprite or soda water, where whatever you taste is just the flavoring yeah. they have. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah, this one says it's got a dash of forest honey in there as well. So it's okay. maybe that's why it's like got quite like a nice taste to it, and not just the, the really harshness of a normal vodka sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was just saying that like the it's surprisingly good the vodka in the sense of most most of the time people just say like a vodka is a vodka and you sip it it just tastes like vodka right but the like i say normally when you drink a neat sip a neat vodka it is a bit harsh like it's mm. you can't eat that off but that is i wouldn't say it's like a whiskey because it's not but it has that warm feeling of like a it's nice to sip rather than as i say normally even like a high quality vodka you can just drink it and be like oh that's a bit yeah. a bit much kind of thing yeah but that's surprisingly sort of soft yeah so just yeah really really impressed with that definitely would be something that I would probably get, especially if um. But you say they, I've never seen them in alcohol. Alcohol. So is it just are they in alcohol? Or is they it? are available in alcohol. I don't know if in every one yeah, of them. Probably you have them. Probably you have yeah, order. Yeah, yeah. Usually, if you don't find it in your alcohol, you just from I bet I then app that I right. Yeah, yeah. Or the alcohol because the, the alcohol map is quite small as well. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could walk to Stockman and get it. Yeah. Just order it, deliver it, and then pick it up. Yeah, because at the end the price is the same. So you just exactly. Yeah, there's yeah. no extra price. So now we have the coffee liquor and the espresso. We can start maybe with the liquor. This not so strong. This is just 16%. It's like just for a bit of flavor, maybe for some cocktails. Let's see. In Mexico we have the this Kalua that they also sell here. I'm guessing this is gonna be similar. It's also a bit convenient size if you're mm. cold and you know, put it in the pocket. That's sort of thing my dad would drink out on the golf course, you know, like just in the winter morning. It's very sweet. Yeah. It reminds me a bit of the like tiramisu. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It smells very similar. Yeah. Right. So, cheers. Yeah, Shaman's coffee. Yeah. It's actually pretty nice. It's pretty good. Oh, wow. it's actually smooth as well. It just tastes exactly like coffee, doesn't it? It's fantastic. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, cool. But sweet, right? Like this, like almost like a six sugars. Like a dessert. Yeah. Yeah, like a coffee cake. You're right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all chefs, right? <laughs> no, I was actually making a tiramisu not long ago, and because uh, I've never had it before, because I was just following some recipe that's right. supposed to be like authentic and stuff, and it tastes exactly like this. Yes. I'll be honest, I, that was the one I was worried about. That's the one I thought I'd be like, nah, this is horrible because I'm just not a coffee, I don't drink coffee at all. I'm not a coffee fan, but that's nah, very sweet and yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. Sweet how you live in Finland and you don't drink coffee. Yeah, exactly. Highest drinkers of coffee in the world, isn't Pretty it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. crazy. Do you drink coffee? Yeah, but one cup a day. And it's like instant coffee. I don't do the filter coffee. Yeah. Come straight up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I used to. I used to. Double fill it. Yeah, yeah, double fill it. <laughs> I used to drink no coffee at all. And then I came here, and it was the. There's a lot of breaks at work, and like, yeah. oh, here's. It's like, let's have a coffee. Let's right. have a coffee. I, like, I guess I'll have to drink coffee. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. and then maybe I should have not drank that much coffee. <laughs> but. No, lucky it's something I've always avoided, just, just, but mostly because I, just, I don't really enjoy it, don't, don't like drinking the coffee. I've got friends that, you know, it's like the first thing in the morning, they can't do anything before the coffee, and yeah. even all day, like, you know, they just, people just go, oh, I need a coffee, I can't talk about my coffee, it's like, you know, it's crazy, but luckily something that I just never, never drank, and never dated somebody who drank coffee, to be fair, as well. I mean, it's not Maybe case. that's what makes the difference, is yeah. there, like, yeah. But yeah, for me, it's sure. the, I got used to having coffee in the morning, and now my... My breakfast is like porridge and coffee. Yeah, yeah. Which is very finished as well. I, yeah. I feel like I drink more coffee now than I did back home. Even yeah. though I, even though I'm only one cup a day. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next is the vodka, thirty-seven point five, espresso. This should be a bit stronger, I guess. It doesn't smell as sweet, in my opinion. Definitely smell the coffee, but not as strong as the. What is this? Oh, I mean, a full one. Uh, I thought you enjoyed coffee. That's what you said. You <laughs> 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 the... Alright. Second one coffee. Mm. Oh, that one's much more coffee tasting. Like, that's much more what I'd consider to be like a, a strong coffee flavour. Yeah, yeah, like espresso. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'll wake you up in the morning. I guess sure. that's why it seems it's, so. it's, it's very concentrated. Yeah. I would use maybe more this for like a for like a cocktail. Right. It has a bit more of the flavor. That's probably I will have it on, on its own. It's as more a, for shots, as a dessert. Right? Yeah, I think yeah. so. This will be a, something I would. Well, this is cold. Having it cold. Yeah, exactly. So I thought this would be quite quite nice with like a, as an iced coffee. I thought the espresso you could put cropped ice and yeah. definitely. Yeah. You know, I've said it again, I'm not a big coffee fan, but that it just, yeah, it's, it's like, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a tough one, like it tastes just like coffee to me, but at the same time, it's it's quite pleasant, you know, it's quite, maybe it's like a bit of a bit of a burn of the vodka, it's quite, mm. it's quite. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's the thing, it's the fact that it's more, the, the alcohol percentage is higher in this one. Yeah, yeah. So it gives it a stronger taste. Yeah, yeah maybe, yeah. I would guess it's also the, because maybe what you don't like in coffee, so a lot of people don't, and I didn't used to like it, is the bitterness. Yeah. Mm, and then yeah. here you don't have that bitter nah, that flavor. Yeah. It's more like smooth. Yeah, really smooth, yeah. yeah. It's good. And like you say, that the other one, the more of the tiramisu type, is really sugary almost. Yeah. This one is just it's, it's almost like a no sugar coffee. Yeah. Yeah, really yeah, quite quite nice. Yeah. Again, they were the two that I was worried about because I'm just not a coffee drinker at all. I thought they're not gonna be for me at all, but Pleasantly surprised. Yeah. It's also the kind of liquor that, personally, I never have this like, because in Mexico it's quite common, but it's not something I would drink. Yeah. I so I, I won't. But I, I do think if you were if you were like a coffee drinker, this could be something that you might you might want like your sort of Sunday afternoon type thing, you know, or like just even like a like a winter Saturday morning kind of thing that, or well, maybe not morning. It's just like <laughs> 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 you could use that for an espresso martini. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the barman talking now. Yeah. Well, you're, you're working the bar, like you kind yeah. of have more idea. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. This one will be used more for espresso martini, and this one probably for something a bit, bit more milder. Maybe for a tiramisu, where instead of dipping it in coffee, you just mm. put a bit of that. Because for that tiramisu, you dip the cookies okay. in coffee, concentrated coffee. Yeah. So maybe a bit of that. Okay, yeah. There's also this um, Italian um, dessert called Cafe Af Affocato, if, if I remember correctly. It's got ice cream, and okay. usually you have a shot of an espresso shot right, yeah. and a biscuit inside. But you could use that as well no, if you want alcohol in it. Yeah. So that would be a good mix. This is the kind of thing that I guess what I actually meant more was that the sort of thing if you went for like a nice like a steak dinner kind of thing after you've had the meal, this could be like a shot of this is like a dessert kind mm. of shot, you know, that kind of thing would be quite nice in the evening, I think. Ah, yeah, it's, they're, they're both um, nicer than either, so I expected. I think they're both something that I, I wouldn't want to drink more than sort of one of, one of, of like I say, that's why I think this is like, go out for a night with some friends, have, have a nice dinner, 
just before you go to like a bar or something, just have one of those like it's a nice little dessert shop, and then yeah, continue the evening kind of thing. Yeah, be nice. Yeah, so have to clean, clean up, clean your palate. Yeah, the exactly. And everything like that, and exactly. then continue the yeah. evening. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That. yeah, as good as as it is, it's not something I would drink a lot. It's of. not Moorish, is it? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. No, because it's all quite strong, right? Yeah, it's the kind of thing that you want just yeah. like a beat and this is one of those have things the flavor to enjoy more, it. more about um, quality yeah. than quantity. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, definitely like a, like a one nightcap type thing and yeah. that's it, yeah, for sure. Which isn't a bad thing. But I like the idea of the coffee with um, like some ice cream and the biscuit or something. Mm. And that's definitely I'll be doing because I also want to use these to make a, a few shorter videos that yeah. we show how we use them. Or, come up with some ways mm. that we can just have these instead of just a shot. Yeah. I'll definitely be doing that. Yeah. Uh, now, these are the ones I was excited for, because we know Salmari, right? You've had your share of Salmiaki, yeah. we all had it. That's the first thing when people hear in the bar, that yeah. you're a foreigner, they're like, oh, try it doesn't matter if you've been living here 60 yeah. years. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, you, you have to try Salmiaki. Yeah. And it's like, I've tried it, now I'll have a shot with me. We all know how it is. Personally, it's not one of my favorites, so I'm a bit worried. Same, yeah. Um, the other one is tar. And tar, I like the smell. It's like this kind of salmon smell on, on, oh, for okay, me. Yeah, I know. Um, but I've never had a liquor. I really like the smell, so let's see how it goes. Should we start with the salmiaki first? Yeah, yeah get it over. <laughs> salmiaki, well, this is a liquor, it's 21%. Oh, wow. if, if you don't leave. It's higher than usual, now. Salmari. Salmiaki is like a flavor. It's a bit like licorice, but it's um, artificial. I've actually never understood the difference between salamari and salmiaki. I just I think salmari is like the how they call the liquor. Yeah, like a, yeah. And, so and salmari is like the candy kind of thing or I think salmiaki is like the salmari flavor. Is the, okay, right. Salmari is like the how they call it. I don't even know if it's like the okay, official okay. name. That's like yeah. licorice liquor in South Okay, cool, I have a nickname, yeah. If you don't live in Finland, you might not have tried salmiaki before. Here, they use it for everything. I don't know what kind of things you've seen with salmiaki flavor. Chocolate. I've seen everything yeah. from like liquor, chocolate, ice chewing cream, gum. chewing yeah. gum, yeah. salami, sauna scents, uh, sauna yeah. scents yeah. some condoms I've seen. Yeah. Uh, it's just like they have it on everything. Uh, for me, I don't know if you have something like that back home, but in Mexico, we have this like tamarind and chili All right, and every, sure. uh, or lime and you have that flavor everywhere. That's here. The same kind of idea like everyone loves this if you grow up here you probably like it if you didn't it's a bit of an acquired taste mm. what's the alcohol percentage on this one it's 21 percent so it's like a liquor it's not too strong i don't know what the one you usually have at bars is i don't know if it's i, was, I thought it was like 15 or so probably so, I thought they they put it like candy shots then they're like a bit, a bit lighter but maybe 20 percent this yeah. doesn't smell as Strong as I'm used to. I don't know what you think. It smells exactly like licorice to me. Yeah, yeah. it smells like licorice. Yeah. But they, they, you've got some that like that have a lot stronger. That, that's what I mean. That yeah, you get yeah, the, yeah. The, the hint is there. Yep. This like licorice, but that's a bit of a salty at the end. Yeah, definitely. I don't think this is bad at all. No, still it's not. It's one of the better ones. Yeah, sort of burn yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. It, it, I don't think the salmiaki taste is that strong. No, compared to others. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's more subtle. I like it. Yeah, I it's still, yeah, cool. it's still something not. It's probably not something I would order for myself. Uh, but for example, I know my brother likes salmiaki. It's, say, it's the kind of thing you'd order when you've got a friend from out of town coming to visit. You go, oh, let's try this. A bit like Yalabina. It's like Definitely. when you're in Finland, your friend from England visits. You go, oh, you got to try this. This is salmiaki. Sal mm -hmm. Or if you yeah. want something like different, right? Because it is a bit sweet, a bit salty. It's like yeah. a very different. I think if you would ask me what's a flavor that represents Finland. This is it. Definitely. It's probably yeah. it. Right? There's so many different um, companies that make this. Like some yeah, like some of all their candies as well, yeah. isn't it? Like, I remember the first time I moved here and, um, you know, a friend was like, oh, let's, we go to the cinema, let's get some candies. And I didn't got, have time to get the candies. And we go and I was like, oh, what, what have you got? And we try one and I grabbed one. I was like, oh, what is this? They were, just, like, they were all, they were all salmiaki. Mm. And like, even the like nice red colored ones, it was like, even a sour salmiaki, yes. and they, they love it, that's what they, so it's definitely yeah. a very Finnish flavor for sure. I remember at, at least uh, with some friends, when it's a party like full of foreigners, and there's just a few Finnish people, and you have the candy bowl, I don't know if yeah, you've seen that. Yeah. yeah. And, and then 
you, you take the color ones yep. and just go around. And it's left over the black. Yeah. yeah. But nowadays you have one from time to time because it grows on you. Yeah, it does way. grow on you for sure, yeah. I remember when I first, you know, uh, Turkish peppers? Yeah. yeah. I remember they got the multi multicolored pack of those and I had the blue ones and the red ones. And I remember that it's the same thing. You've got the brown ones that are just the pure salmiaki ones. And I was like, oh, <laughs> but then when they've got anyone that's left, you grab one and it's next thing you know, you're like, oh, not so bad. They, kind of, they do grow on you, yeah, for sure. Yeah, not bad. That's, I'm wondering if this is something because, like back home, um, everyone, I guarantee you, everyone would not like this licorice taste. Yeah. But my dad, he loves licorice. Hey, every time I go back, so at least yeah. Yeah, I take something from him. I'm wondering if he would like this. Yeah, I think so, yeah, for sure. Probably. I know, for example, my brother, every time he's been here, or when I go back to Mexico, the first thing, it's like, hey, I'm going back to Mexico, instead of like, oh, it's nice, you're coming. Hey, bring me, bring me some <laughs> salmiaki. Yeah. Or some salmiaki candy and some salmiaki everything. Yeah. So next time I'll probably bring some of this. Yeah, it's the same with my mum. She loves Quite she loves licorice, she loves sour candies. And I remember I thought I was being great and brought her back a pack of Turkish peppers. And she tried, I said, what do you think about them? She was like, I thought they were a bit tame. So they weren't, they weren't sour <laughs> enough for her, but yeah. She did, she did like them, she just thought they were a bit tame. So I've got to try out next time and go back with some stronger ones. Proper, but, like. Yeah. You get her one of these as well. My mom doesn't drink, but this, would be, ah. this would be the kind of thing that she would love for sure. Yeah, maybe they do an non-alcoholic version, and I can grab her a bottle. Actually, yeah, she, yeah. yeah she definitely like that. Should we try the? I don't know if John would like that. I think I think my dad would drink it, but um, I'm not sure. He's definitely not into sour candies, and I don't. He's not okay, much. Yeah. I think he he'd find it okay. He might like it. Let's try it for sure. I think you have to be someone that likes kind of to try different stuff. Oh, he tried for sure. The, he wouldn't dislike it. I just don't think it would be his go-to sort. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because I know a lot of. I I bring a few of these every time I go to Mexico, and you know, yeah. you see your friends. Hey, try this. This is finished, and like, and there's not a lot of people that go crazy for it. Yeah. But those people who like it, they like it a lot. Yeah, for sure. And it's usually the people that my, my brother is a chef, so he really likes trying like different things. Yeah. yeah. And I think if you're into like different stuff and like really trying weird. stuff, Weird flavors. This is definitely one mm -hmm. to try. It's definitely a, like a, like the Finnish experience, and as we already said, it's the kind of thing that whenever my friend like Gav flies in, it's like, oh, you'll try this, or someone flies into town from out of town, it's one of the first things you get to try. That and say Yalabina, it's like a, a Finnish delicacy. Yeah, yeah, but so it's the same thing as you said earlier. Like when you're at a bar, you, no matter how long you've been in this country for, when you're at a bar, yeah, and you meet up with some Finnish people, and then they hear like, oh, you're foreign, foreigner. Yeah, they're like, oh, let's try this. And it's usually and the first thing you hear, you're like, it's a yellow Yeah, exactly. This is one of those things, yeah. yeah. So, the next we're trying is this terva, it's pine tar. Um, I don't know if you've had anything with this flavor, I haven't. Uh, my shampoo smells like this, I like it a lot. For me, it smells like sauna. Yeah, we've got one of them for the sauna. Yeah, I've got a sauna yeah. scent as well, exactly, yeah. We're gonna try this. I thought it was like a very finish as well, that's why I put these together. Because the only thing more finished than salmiaki is probably sauna, mm -hmm. right? Ooh. Oh wow, strong smell. It's yeah. quite strong. This is only 21%, so just a liquor, just a little something. Yeah, that is something. Somehow it reminds me of my um, father-in-law's sauna. <laughs> when I go there, like it yeah. smells strong there because they have it. It doesn't smell drinkable, does it, to be honest? It smells very... It smells, it, it smells like... Um, oh, here we go. It smells like you have to pop a beer and relax in. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. It is. It doesn't taste anything like it smells, does no. it? Yeah. No. It, it tastes like the... Um, I don't know if you've done it. I have a video where I'm I'm doing this uh, Neumuloki. Yeah. This, this salmon yeah. that they, they put on the board on and the plank on the side. Yeah, when you eat the, the salmon that you have to smoke, right. the aftertaste. Mm. It's exactly like this. Exactly that, yeah. It, to me, it tastes like a root, like a, a crazily or an incredibly like, um, mild smoked whiskey almost. You know, like. A watered down. Yeah, like, oh, exactly. Like, really watered, watered down. down. Yeah, like yeah. it's. The, the aftertaste in the mouth is very. It's not like you had a Lafrey, like really very like yeah. smoky, but um, mm. the actual taste of drinking it's kind of, I would say almost like quite plain, like not really much to it, but a, quite a nice aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah, like a whiskey, you would drink it slowly. Yeah. yeah. This would be more of a, 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, and done with like not as strong as a, a smoky whiskey. Yeah. It's a bit sweet as well. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a bit the start is like a bit sweet and the smoke. Yeah, that's a bit of wood. Yeah, yeah. Like kind of it's like really ashy afterwards. Like now it's got quite a nice after that aftertaste in the mouth, like the whiskeys, but when you drink it, it is quite sweet and, yeah. and mm. it is not a strong alcohol taste as no, well. No, not at all, yeah. No. And it's the same percentage as this one here, twenty one percent. Twenty one, yeah. See that it, surprisingly, I'd say that is quite Moorish. That's one I could probably drink quite a few of. Like I do quite, it's quite a nice, like yeah, it's a nice feeling almost to just drink it. But the um, I think with the salamari, salamari, you um, at least for me, I get it. I feel a bit sick after too many of them because it's very flavorsome, yeah. isn't it? Like it's, yeah, that's very interesting. That far one. This feels for me like you're on the campsite kind of thing yeah, yeah. next to the fire it just like sausages, sausages. Yeah, exactly exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. midsummer thing yeah definitely uh, nice. I, ca- I cannot think of what would i mix this with you need it, no. definitely not like i think this is neo, a straight yeah. yeah it's a straight and you don't even drink it slow it's more of a shot yeah definitely agreed yeah, yeah. yeah. it's uh, that's the kind of thing i think you want um maybe when you're you grilling meat or something yeah like that you summer have... when you get out of the lake after the sauna just not mm-hmm. shot back kind of thing, you know, like kind of almost like a refreshing type. Um, yeah, like definitely a summer one for me, more, more than yeah. winter. Like I could see the like the coffee ones you could have. You got like ice swimming. You could get out and have a quick shot of that coffee. Mm-hmm. That could be quite nice. But that for me is much more just like yeah, you just go into midsummer, bed sauna, Lake. jump in the water, yep. have, come out. One of these. Yeah, have one of those. Like yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. It does sound like that. Yeah, really good. I will pair this up. Especially these like small bottles. Yeah. Pair them up as a gift, kind of thing. Yeah. Like if you're going back home yeah. or someone's visiting, it's like, hey, take this. This is proper finish. Yeah. Like, because all these like the berries and stuff is also like very traditional finish. Yeah. But, but I think these are the two. Yeah. The yeah. two finish flavors that will be like. Somebody in the top. Yeah, yeah, that for sure. I yeah. agree. It's like you give the more that kind of berry stuff would be more sort of for that brownie punch with the father in law. This is more for like your your international friends to just sort of say have a taste of Finland kind of thing. Definitely, yeah. yes. Yeah, really good. Well, it's interesting when I, when I smelled this one, I was a bit concerned as well. This is not. This smells exactly like the sauna. <laughs> no, the sauna. I could smell it before. Yeah, like, I didn't pick it up. Oh, wow. Good. I mean, it smells. It smells like burnt wood, doesn't it? Mm. If you smell the glass now, it smells like you've um. There's been something that's been burning like on, a, on a campfire, like you yeah. said. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. how your jacket smells after yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that. That. exactly that. Yeah. yeah, when you're in mid summer exactly. and you're wearing a coat, and then you get home for months later, like you smell the fire. That's how the glass smells. But when you drink it, it's sweet. It just doesn't make sense, does it? It's kind of. I would say this is the most interesting so yeah. far. Yeah, yeah. Of those, yeah. Definitely. Like, yeah. I haven't been disappointed though by any of these because the even the salmari, which I'm not usually a fan of, mm. has been good. Yeah, I, I think. Um, I, I could be wrong with this, but I think some bars they make their own salmari, and I think they can be a, a bit too alcoholic, almost like there's too much alcohol in mm-hmm. the mix. But that just tastes like a really nice licorice it's sauce a candy. Good, there's a good balance, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Between the taste of the actual salmari licorice and like the alcohol. A bit of kick, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Sometimes, like you were saying, some places make their own. And, like sometimes there's more alcohol. Yeah, too much the powers, yeah. And sometimes some places have a bit more. Licorice, and it's like you just want to. Now you're spot on. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're spot on. It's a really good mix there, good balance. Mm. Pleasantly surprised by that one because, like I say, when I, when I smell it, I was like, oh, I don't know, I think this might be the one that I say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> smell it again with the. See how it. Yeah, it's. It's quite strong as well because as soon as I open it, I can smell it. It just doesn't taste like that, does it? That's the weird thing. Oh, it's like. It's quite mild as well. Yeah, it's really sweet and mild. But it smells like the glass has been burnt on a, on a bonfire, doesn't it? It's, yeah, yeah, really good. I don't know. Some people should try. For example, the because it reminded me right away of that salmon that you put on the plank yeah. and just like kind of smoke it there yeah, on the yeah. fire, like indirect fire. And uh, when when you're cooking that, you cut it open and you put the yalu. Yeah. I feel like you could also pour a bit of this instead of the yalu, just yeah. to give it a bit more of a smoked kind of. Yeah, I stronger flavor. I think you could do that. that would work. 
even some chicken in a pan type thing. Like this is me dodging as an optic clean. <laughs> but yeah, like, <laughs> a, bit, a, bit of, a bit of sea salt, a bit of chicken, a bit of that. It's uh, a pan. bottle of there. I'm from the chicken. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. You know? <laughs> Rennie's not in the long flight. Yeah. <laughs> No, but you, you're pretty spot on on that. Like when you have that plate, um, salmon, the bonfire salmon, like you could chuck that on, just add a bit more flavour. Yeah. Oh, that's something for us to do in the summer then. Yeah. That's in our video, so. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing in a bit summer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the last three uh, vodkas we're going to try, they are from berries. You know, you probably know, um, Finland has a lot of different berries. And usually they're quite nice. I don't know back where you're from. At least the berries in Mexico, we also have many of them. But they're not usually as sweet. Or at least I find the berries here are usually quite sweet, quite nice. Yeah. Um, so I would say this is also quite Finnish. We have some lingonberry, bilberry, which is apparently a kind of blueberry. We'll, we'll figure it out. I've never heard it before. And some red currant. So we can start with lingonberry. That's the one I'm... Most familiar, most familiar with, yeah, yeah. with um, at least here in Tampere, with Mustamakara and the lingonberry jam is quite yeah. common, right? It's like a local like speciality, I would say. Maybe one of your Finnish followers could uh, enlighten us on the bilberry a bit more, because all we know about it, we did a quick Alexa and we found out it was some kind of European blueberry, but I've never heard of it before and none of us have, and we've all been here for six years, so... Yeah, I don't know how common it is also in Finland. Is it just a normal blueberry, just officially has a different name? If anyone knows, put it down in the comments, that would be nice. It's not a strong smell. There's a hint, but not, not a lot less yeah. saunery than the, <laughs> yeah, than the, the previous one here. Okay, give this. Give this for like, what, what do you think it's going to taste like? Do you think it's going to be sweet? I think it'll be sharp. I think it's going to be more like a cranberry. Yeah, exactly. You know? Okay. Quite sharp, on the sharp end, yeah. yes. I'm a lingonberry expert, you see, so. <laughs> Bit of a connoisseur. That's really good. Big fan of that one. So it's quite a strong flavor. Yeah, very like strong. I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to be that strong. Yeah, it's. That, again, bit of um, soda water, splash of lemonade, crushed some limes in there. This has got to be under 40%. Ah, 37. We have something very similar in Mexico. When you go to the mountains, they have like very, uh, at least in my city, well, in my state, in the mountains, they make a lot of these like flavored kind of liquors, and they're quite, usually quite strong liquors. Mm. And this is something I've tasted before. I don't know if it's like a similar berry or we just have something like that tastes exactly like this. Yeah. I, I remember exactly like being there in a small town tasting these liquors, like I immediately went there. We don't. We don't really have many berries in the Cook Islands, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say I've had this before. We don't have anything like this that's sort of authentic in the UK, at least to my knowledge. Like, we have lots of berry liquors, mm. but it's a lot of the generic ones are absolute and, you know, yeah. things like that and mm. stuff. And that's one of the things I was going to say is that, firstly, I should probably point out, like, you know, this, your video wasn't sponsored by this Sh Shaman's brand. They just sent you some to sort of almost like review. But this is, um, like, you drink a lot of the absolute ones and they feel very, like, kind of, generic and very um, artificially flavoured. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These like, this is just, that taste tastes like a, ling a lingonberry yeah. liquor. And it's, it's something that I'd definitely probably get a few of these because it's, um, yeah, they're just really nice, aren't they? Like, they're just really good quality. Yeah. yeah. I, I haven't tried the others, but as I said, when I was drinking vodka when I was younger, I would splash the soda or maybe some 7-Up, mm. some Sprite, because you just want the flavour, right? And yeah. you just want a bit of sweetness. And I think that's exactly what you should do with this kind of thing. Of like, yeah. you really taste what it is. All the flavors are here. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, that's the thing. Most of the time, you mix a liquor, you're mixing it to sort of remove the flavor of the liquor, right? So yeah. you mix vodka with lemonade or orange juice or cranberry to just make it taste like cranberry, right? And mm. get rid of the vodka. But I think with these, it's like you just want to add a bit of um, dilution to it, like a bit of soda water, maybe a bit of like lime and ice, just just to. But the flavor, it's just they're so flavorsome that you don't really need to mess with it. So. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's like similar to seltzers, right? Seltzers, yeah. uh, it's a vodka soda base with a hint of flavor. This, I wouldn't say it's a seltzer if you mix this with soda, no, because the, the flavor is strong. Well, yeah, in yeah, this yeah. one anyway. Yeah. But 
I would prefer this. Or totally agree. Yeah. Or salsa. Yeah, with more flavor. Than yeah. More flavor. Not more like. I, I feel like this will be more like I think juice. Hundred percent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. hundred yeah, yeah. percent. It's like um, when you mix like a an absolute blueberry, for example, like it just tastes like a watered down vodka with a little little hint of like, like a seltzer. Like a seltzer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas this this is something that definitely could get a few bottles because mm. it's just kind of you would just you could even drink this on the rocks, I think. Yeah. You know, sort of thing. Maybe a little like a splash of a splash of soda water kind of thing. It's, with the most tamakara on the side, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just to... the lingonberry candles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the considering it's like lingonberry. Pretty yeah. decent. Yeah, um, that's probably my favourite so far, honestly. Yeah. 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 yeah, it'll be like making, like, for example, like a vodka, vodka soda with, with um, lingonberry juice. Yeah. Like adding yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's all in the bottle. Yeah, really good. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Like I say, surprised, I'm surprised the three of us, I mean, you worked in bars, you worked in restaurants, you know, we've all, like, I'm, we've all been into bars and restaurants a lot in Finland. I don't know about you guys, I've never even heard of this brand, no. never seen it, and I kind of shocked, honestly, like, yeah. I never heard it, and I don't know why, man, because they've been around for now for a while. 98? Yeah, 98, I think. I don't know if they're just expanding now, like, I don't know exactly what's the story there, but um, I think it's pretty decent. Yeah, it's really good, it's pretty good. So far, considering what... We're the stuff that we've heard from them, it's, it's that's yeah, what we'll yeah. find out. It's like 70 euros a bottle, and that's why we've never heard yeah. of it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> now nah, let's, uh, let's try the bilberry. It is not, yeah. so I will, I will have noticed. Yeah. I will, I will remember. <laughs> if, that's if, something you would remember. If, remember. If, I will remember. <laughs> yeah. I remember it was not bad. Yeah, <laughs> should we try the bilberry? Yeah. Let's figure it out. This, this smells more like my. My gem. A bit more, more, I, love, more. I do love a blueberry liquor. Not so sharp, but a the bit red more. current I think will be the most sharp. Sweet. Well, the lingonberry is generally pretty sharp, isn't it? Yes. I feel like Luke's getting more than 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 Leo. Do you want more? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like there's that little hint. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice smell. Eh? Yeah. Almost vanilla -y. Yeah, it's a bit vanilla -y. Yeah, it's a, this is like really way more sweet. That's what I was saying. No. Give this. Give this. Mm? Yeah, this. This one tastes more like how it smells, kind of thing. I like it. I personally still prefer the lingonberry. Yeah. Um, but it's decent. Yeah. I, think I, I was like pleasantly surprised by this one. This one sort of tastes exactly how I expected to taste, if that makes sense. Yeah. Not bad at all, but just kind of, I wasn't shocked or surprised by it. You know, it's, like, mm -hmm. it's, it's just a blueberry echo. Yeah, it's really good. But, but I guess it also has a bit to do with the fact that even, because even in Mexico, I know what blueberry tastes like, yeah. right? I think this is, for me, lingonberry is more of a new flavor. Yeah. That, like, I know it, here kind of thing and it's a bit more like of a special kind of thing blueberry you have an idea it's, already it's, yeah, exactly yeah, how, well exactly how it's gonna be no be fair you know and, um, well, I don't know you should you've probably had it before when you go to bars and you have blueberry, blueberry shops shop, yeah. yeah so a lot of bars they use like um, bowls or the kuipers um, blueberry liqueur mm. and in some places and then they will add blueberry like syrup yeah, I've seen that. In, half and half. Yep, and cream. Oh, yeah. Not even half, it's like two centiliters. Right. Of the is, is it like the blueberry cake or like soup, they, they call it, that they sell it just like in a package? Like, I was no, 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 it's, it's, like, it's, it's a shop. Yeah, oh, it's, like it's, a, it's a shop, like an alcohol. It's, like, it's like half blue, half almost like clearly yellow, and then a layer of cream. It almost looks like it, the, the blueberry sort of settles at the bottom. Is this correct? I, uh, I think the blueberry is on top of the liquor. Right, so is it like yellow, yellowy cream? It's like yellowy cream and then and like almost like a blueberry juice and then a layer of cream. So it, 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 looks depends, like three it depends on the liquor. Like a lot, the cuppers and the bowls are white, but it's got a blueberry taste right, in okay. it. And then you add some blueberry like sauce. Yeah, the one you're talking about. Yeah, like yeah, that kind syrup. of syrup. Yep, yeah. You put that on top and then some cream. Yeah. But I reckon you could just use that. Like, then you don't need the syrup. No, just that and the cream. cream. Yeah. yeah, this would be the stuff. Like, that it's got that tastes like a blueberry shot to me. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, and like you said, you said it when you smell it, it tastes quite vanilla. -y. It smells yeah. quite vanilla, -y and that's that's the cream almost, mm. isn't it? Almost without the cream, you wouldn't need it, but just the mm. yeah. Because I, like, I mean, those blueberry shots, they 
they're watered down. Yeah, I mean, not watered down, but their liquor is like 20% or not even that. Yeah, once you get the end of the night where your friend says, let's get a shot, and you don't want a shot anymore, you're like, have a blueberry shot. Yeah, and it's only 2% alcohol. Yes. Sometimes three, if you're lucky. Yeah. And the rest is just the cream and the juice. Yeah. Whereas this is what, 40, 37? 37, 37, yeah. So imagine blueberry shot, that's 37%. It's got a bit of kick. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, bars it's selling point. blueberry blueberry shots with Bil- this. Or a bilberry shot. Bil- bilberry, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the difference? Well, this one's stronger. You have yeah. to try it. <laughs> it's like, this one's got a punch. Yeah, and I think this that would be perfect, because for me, the flavor is so strong. Mm. So, if you would put the cream, I think it would balance it like as a, a bit milder. Yeah, 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 like yeah. mild it out, it, soften yeah. it. Yeah. It's still pretty good. I like it. Oh, it's, it's for sure it's really good. As I was just sort of saying, it's one of those things for me that it's kind of the lingonberry. I, I we've all tasted lingonberries and we've all tasted lingonberry drinks. So they got the, a few of the like um, the long drinks. They have a lingonberry flavor, all yeah. that kind of stuff. And they all they all taste very different. I wasn't really sort of sure of what kind of version of lingonberry we were going to get in that shot. And I was I thought it was really good. The blueberry or the bilberry, I should say. Sorry, it's it tasted good, but it it wasn't. It didn't shock me. It was like, okay. Yeah, that just tastes like a, a like a bit like a strong blueberry shot. I should yeah. say. It's like. Mm-hmm. It's, it's good for sure. I definitely would recommend it. But for for me, it's a bit more what you said that it's the um, it tastes exactly like the berry. Yeah, like it, it really tastes like more natural. It's, like, yeah. it's, it's not the synthetic kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Quality. Yeah, yeah, like not synthetic. Like yes, uh, some big brand vodkas. So it's yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Yes, I agree. Like as we said with the with the absolute blueberry there, but it's just awful, isn't it? It's very it tastes <laughs> it tastes um what's the word. Like almost like fabricated. It's just it's like it's just clearly like um what's the word chemical chemical like uh, artificial artificial. Yeah, artificial. Yeah, that's what yeah. Thank you. Yeah, like it's artificially produced and it just tastes like a like a yeah like a blueberry chemical. Whereas that just tastes like someone's mushed some blueberries, mixed some vodka with it, and which is and, and put some vodka in. Yeah, exactly. Whereas yeah, the other yeah. alcohol is more like like the, the absolute. It's more like the vodka synthetic blueberry. Yeah, yeah they put some. Yeah. Couple Whereas this one is more like yeah, the, yeah. the juice and yeah, they, they've put alcohol in. Exactly. Yeah. Like quality. Like the blue, yeah, that's what you say. Yeah, exactly. The blueberry flavour comes through first, then you get a kick. Yeah. In the absolute, it's like absolute absolute vodka synthesised with a bit of blueberry yeah. flavouring. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Quite good. So the red current doesn't disappoint us after the first two. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bar is kind of high, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. Not, no, I'm scared. I'm like, let's see if it's as good. The what? Like everything is in Finnish. Yeah, all of, all of the, the words associated to the bottle is all, it's all in English. So like it says, Shaman's Lingonberry Vodka treats your palate to the succulence of wild lingonberries, crystal clear groundwater, and superior quality grain spirit. And it's like it's a Finnish company. They've got a Finnish dress at the bottom. Everything in English is yeah. something you don't really see often in Finland. I mean, I've never seen a a Finnish product marketed like that before. What are these numbers? It's probably the serial number. I'm guessing that's the number of. Bottles they have produced. Oh, okay. So four thousand of these, two thousand of these, and four thousand yeah. of these. So this must be I, good then. I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's the high end. What what I have seen at least, because I didn't know the brand right, and um, now that I've been checking and reading up like on their site and stuff, I think they have been around for a while, but then I think they have been tasting like testing different flavors. And now they're developing a bit more of this, uh, like developing the flavors, developing the brand into being this, we're very Finnish and we want to kind of like go out mm. and kind of bring a bit of these Finnish flavors and maybe Export. not sell just locally exactly. I think that's what they're trying to do. That's why they also have like a bit of the of the English. Mm. And, the, and I think that's quite nice. Yeah, really nice. Because I don't know, yeah. well, you'll probably notice, notice it a bit more because you've been living here longer. Sometimes it's a bit hard uh, to go into the Finnish culture. Like, if you even if you want to dive in, if you don't know the language completely and you are not that comfortable, sometimes it's a bit hard because yeah. there's many many things that are not translated, and many yeah. things even if you try, like some of the m- more subtle notes might get lost in lost translation, yeah. and it's not exactly the same. So I think it's quite nice that they bring these flavors, and they have like quite nice descriptions outside, like on the on the back. Mm. It's I don't know. I think this is a brand that would represent Finland quite, quite all right. Yeah, for sure. It's one of those ones where, like, <coughs> the real nature of Finland. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got it. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's you can tell that they they are trying to play to the also the, the international market for sure, which yeah. is which is something that a lot of Finnish brands don't do, and I think that that's a, a mistake. Like they really should sort of push towards expanding past Finland because just from sheer numbers, right? So it's just a optimal play. But yeah, this looks like a, a brand that is looking to do that, and I don't see any reason why they won't succeed with that. To be honest, yeah. In, in New Zealand, they've got a lot of um, what is, what are they call RTDs, so ready to drink right drinks, basically. So it's like vodka. Whatever, some flavor like Jack and Coke, yeah, stuff. Jack and yeah, Coke, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim and Coke, but a lot of sweet things. And oh, they've got like so many different options. They love this sweet stuff, eh? New Zealand. Mm. I reckon this would work in New Zealand. These like flavored vodkas, but with a strong flavor, not like the one we were talking about earlier, like the big brands, yeah, and that's a mild taste. But these would work, yeah. I think yeah. it would in the UK as well because it's one of these things, especially in like the nice, the nicer bars in London where mm. people go for sort of for like cocktails and that. This kind of thing. I mean, I'm not a bartender by any means, of course. So it's one of those things where I'm sure there'll be much better recipes. But like, say, you pour this, maybe a bit of lemonade, a bit of sparkling water, whatever you do. <clears throat> And so tons of different fruits and you know it would be yeah, yeah. Same, same in Mexico at least uh, people in Mexico drink tons of soda then when you drink uh, for example the um, when you go to a bar having this vodka with juice yeah. and like very sweet juice and very like kind of like in the US that it's also like a lot of very sugary drink very yeah, strong flavors yeah. the for example one drink I really like and you don't even find that soda here or at least I haven't seen it when you have whiskey, especially when I was like in university maybe, the most common drink was some cheap whiskey and then uh, apple soda. And this apple soda is really sweet, Yeah, I mean. it, it tastes really good. Mm. And here you can even see that soda. And a lot of the sodas here are not that sweet. They're a bit yeah. more, I think people more like more this like natural juice that yes. is like not so strong. But in all the other countries like that people like these very strong flavors, I, I don't see why mm. someone wouldn't like this. Like this is spot on what people would like. Yeah. I guess I'm a bit shocked by that when you said they they sort of started in 1998, uh, and we've not seen them between us in any of the bars in Finland in our you know combined what ten plus years. It just it seems a bit odd because well after after this video goes out, it's going to be in every bar. <laughs> <laughs> my, my guess is that Shaman bottle. My, my guess is that they were like a small kind of like brewery that like a micro kind of brewery. Yeah, because because you can tell that the quality is quite good, right? Yeah. So it's probably this kind of like. More like small, making sure it like it tastes good and it's quality, like very, very over quantity, yeah. like local kind of like, um, yeah, I'm, I think it's really good. So yeah. I just I just hope if they expand, then like you know how a lot of companies when they expand, they don't ruin it, yeah, yeah, like the quality. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, for this yeah. same, it's, yeah. yeah, good. I think uh, it's because kind of, it's kind of interesting to me as well that like a lot of companies are good for like one thing or one particular like flavor or brand, yeah. but. The fact, I mean, they seem, vodka seems to be their thing for sure, but the fact they've got like, we've tasted, I don't even know how many flavors, and every single one of them has been like beyond solid, right? Yeah, yes. There's not been one where you're like, that's nah, a bit lackluster or a bit whatever. I don't like coffee at all. The coffee ones are both amazing. The Samari sal sal is better than yeah. any other Samari's. Sal the that we've tried. The sauna one was, I mean, it's called Tara, isn't it? But that was, we all really like that one as well. At least I think that was probably my favorite. And then, yeah, these. Yeah, the top. Oh, I mean, sorry, not the top, but the sub. I yeah. was surprised by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. Red current. Last on the menu. Oh, that one's strong. That one's sharp. That is, it is. Yes, it is. That one kicks like a mule. And that's not that sweet, right? Mm. That's. That's a good one to end on, to be honest. That, was, that one kicks. <laughs> so we saved the, the strongest for the last. That one kicks. It does. <laughs> I did not expect that one from the last one. <laughs> I expected that from the Lingu. I thought the Lingaberry would be that. Shit, but the red currant was. That was good. They're not that different. No, no. I man. think the Lingaberry and the red currant. That one just hates you a bit more when you drink it. You know, that one's really stronger, right? That was good, so, yeah. Yeah, that was good. This is the security at yep. the end of the night talking to you politely, mate. It's time to leave. <laughs> <laughs> this is the security that says get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> and this one's like, just stay for one more. <laughs> <laughs> Which then ends up being my like one. You're good, bro. You're good, bro. <laughs> and he hates them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, they had a yeah, they're, kick. They're quite a trio, yeah. Yeah, that, that one was um, that one was quite vicious. In a good, it was nice. This is something 
because I don't think you've tried it. Uh, I've made in Mexico. We have this tamarind vodka. Yeah, and we've been making yeah, them I'll, like I'll with this. It. We put some Mexican candy in there, it, like let this all for a week or something. Tamarind. And it's, tamarind. It's like spicy tamarind. Yeah. You know? Really good. I don't know if you tried it. It's like. I haven't, not, not what you've made, but it's I know what tamarind is. Like. Exactly. We've got a massive tree in our house back home. Yeah, yeah, because well, it, it's kind of like also like in that yeah. area of the world, it's also common. Yeah. It's this kind of like sweet, sour, like acid yeah. kind of like. So we ha we make that vodka usually, have it like I just a Sprite or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 make, I make it and we drink it together, right? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. I'm happy to be on board. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, like, I like those kind of strong flavors, right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I don't know, like for me, this is the kind of vodka that, because we already enjoy those kind of flavors. Oh, well, I also made one habanero one once. Oh, it was not a fan, I think. <laughs> it was a bit strong. Like, a bit strong. I think what, what was strong? The alcohol the No, mate. The, the habanero, oh my lord. I, I, it's I, I, like I, any hiccups, you know, that kind of thing. Like, like just oh, comes this no. issue. Our, our friend Billy tried yeah, it, he almost died for me, and I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I don't know. It was really spicy. Mexican, right? No, 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 no finish, finish. finish. Okay. I was like, when That's he drank it, I, I thought like, oh, he'll be spicy. Like, he, he'll think it's a bit spicy, right? He almost died. And I was like, oh, I feel so bad. And um, It was rough. I'm not but, lie. but what I'm saying is like, I like really strong flavor. Mm. Like vodka and like, I, I think that this is a perfect choice of like, if instead of buying some vodka and just like adding a bit of lime or something, Wait, uh, then you have one of these. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to worry because this with a soda with 7-Up or something will be quite fine. And then you have a bit of flavor, right? Yeah, not yeah. not just like a plain drink, like not so flavorful. Yeah, one hundred percent agree. It's one of those with like the um, firstly to just touch on that that habanero vodka. That was that was the devil's liquid. That was not that was not the same. That was not it. That was not it. <laughs> like, what was that? New Year's or something? I don't remember. I think it was New Year's because I, I mean that. Ant yeah, because Ant was there. Ant was there and Phil was there and Liam and. They all took theirs first few and they were, and Ant was like in his Australian accent like fucking hell mate. But like, the rest of the boys just like thought it was nothing else. And I can handle spicy food generally. I like, don't I'm not really got a problem with spice. And it's one of those where it's like as soon as it hit my tongue, just instant hiccups. It was like what the fuck is wrong with me? Like, like fuck me. And then everyone else tried one and Dilla was like I'll try one. And then Dilla's girlfriend Dilla was like no Dilla don't try one don't try one. Like, and he's like I try one I try one. He was on the couch for about 30, 40 minutes, like tearing and just like like in a fetal position, just like, yeah. Man, I love the guy. I love the yeah. guy. And I was like, I feel so sorry. I'm ready to get going up. I feel so sorry. Like, he saw me hiccuping like a sick baby. Like, you should have realized, but yeah, that was rough. The tamarind one you do is absolutely amazing. And you should get in touch with the shaman and get on there. Yeah, it's very good. But that was a, that one was, that was the first one of all of them that. You know, got the blood rushing, you know what I mean? Like, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Because so far, everything has been so smooth. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and, and I like that, right? Because... I, I feel like you knew this, though. I feel like you, you knew this was the... I did not. That's why you saved it for last. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a scam, yeah. isn't it? And if we started on that, we would be like, ah, oh, bro, I, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Fred would be like, sorry, my wife's gone. I was like, like, my kid's sick. We're going to go. <laughs> well, no. Is... Uh, man, I haven't tried this. And I, I had this for a while, and it was very hard not to try it. So I was like, oh, these sounds so good. Now we tried them, and we'll definitely be probably trying trying this on that so note. Many more times. I'm gonna take one more red current because I have to relive that. <coughs> yes. So, yeah. It is strong. Personally, I wouldn't have it up by itself. Like, but I would still buy it. Yeah. Just to have it with some soda, setting up like this kind of like. Or do some other kind of cocktail, you know, instead of, like, I don't know. Of these three, my favourite is the lingonberry. I, I don't know why. I think it's one because I could, I could shoot it and I could mix it. I could see both cases. This one, I, I don't know. It, it, like I say, maybe I'm being harsh on it because it, it's really nice. It's just one of those ones where if you've had one, you've had a lot of blueberry shots, you know, you're kind of a bit used to it. It's like a lot of it about, and I do love blueberry, but I think generally I like the sharpness of the lingonberry more than a blueberry. Like, yeah. if I'm going to eat, I do enjoy to eat blueberries and I like blueberry juice, but it's not necessarily something I, I mix with, li with liquor too often. But cranberry, which is why the red currant I thought was quite good, but the, the, the sharper berries I think just go better. Um, yeah. But the 
the red current. I think I could see myself shooting this for sure. I could see myself doing shots of it. I could see myself mixing it with a bit of a bit of sprite and a bit of crush line. Um, let's try again. Give us. Yeah, that does kick. That's good. It's almost as you can feel the. I don't know if you feel the same, but it's almost like syrupy without being like it has a bit of a texture kind of thing mm. without it being too sweet it's yeah, not overpoweringly yeah, sweet there's, but there's not a sweetness there's like a it's hard to explain <clears throat> isn't it like you say syrupy is a good word but, but syrupy but sounds negative to me you know it I mean? sounds like, negative but but it's not it's, not, it's just like yeah. what i mean is like it has a bit of a body kind of thing it's, yeah, it's yeah, not it's, just like it's, plain just like it's, just, you know, it's visceral if that's the word yeah maybe uh, High viscosity. viscosity. Yes. Yeah. 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 Chemistry class. Chemistry class. <laughs> <laughs> year nine chemistry class. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it has a bit of a, like a body kind of thing, and I don't know because for, for me, what I like is that it tastes almost like homemade. You know? yeah, it, yeah. it doesn't feel yes. watered down at all. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the bilberry for me a bit like as nice as it was felt a bit watered down. The um the red current felt like it's just it's just packed, you know, and yeah, yes. for sure. See where I come from, we're not big we're not big on berries because we don't have yeah berries at all. But if I was to pick out of these three, I would go for this one, the blueberry, okay, because it was more sweet. It had that sweetness, and coming from where I, I think come Renly from, really the same. What, what do you? What I would go with blueberry because yeah. I, I like that sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I like the. That's what you're both saying is you're soft. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's With not sweet soft. on the inside, hard on the outside. It's, it's just uh, they're all good, but yeah, man. I mean, I, I like very sweet drinks, kind of thing, and mm. I, I feel like it's just good. I think. Also, you know, I, I have to say, we do have blueberry, mm. and we we have a lot of blueberry flavored kind of like you know like the chewing gum and the juice yeah, and these kind yeah, of things. Yeah. And before I came to Europe. Lingonberry, this flavor that I'm telling, I don't know what's the fruit they use, or what's the... It's lingonberry. Yeah, no, but like, I mean, the one I said that in Mexico it tastes exactly like this. Right, okay. I think it's something like we call... Cloudberry. I think it's something we call nanche, but I don't know what's right, happening. Okay. It might be meant to be the same. But um, <clears throat> that flavor, I've only had it in liquor. And in very specific towns. Like, it's not something that's super common. Red currant is not something we have in Mexico. So I think these two, for me, are not as familiar. Yeah. And that's probably why the blueberry is just yeah. like, okay, it's sweet. I know for me, when someone mentions in Mexico berries, this kind of sweetness is you what you think of. That. Yes, yeah. interesting. So that's that's so why I think, I think I, it's... I, it's interesting that I'm on the opposite side of the spectrum where <clears throat> I totally agree, blueberry is way more common for me, and I think that's why I prefer the other ones. Yeah. I, see what yeah. you mean. I, I just kind of, um, like, if someone had offered me when I moved to Finland, and even probably until a couple of years ago, we've got a blueberry shot, we've got a lingonberry shot, I'd have always taken the blueberry shot because it's just, I prefer. I've eaten lingonberries and I've eaten blueberries and I prefer blueberries, you know, it's just that kind of thing. But when I've tried blueberry um, seltzer, have you had the, the one from um, Puniki Brew House? They, oh, do, good. they do some seltzer. It's, it's, it's good, but I, again, I would say out of four of them, it's the, the one I prefer the least. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just the one that is most plain, right? Yep. Like you say, very mild. I always go for the mango. Mango one's amazing. Mango I don't one's, know why. Mango one's <laughs> <a> very <laughs> It's Polynesian, bro. Let's go for the Ma mango. What the do you know? Sure. Mango is the one. There's, they got mango, that I'm not I'm not, right. I'm not sponsored by them, but they got mango, <laughs> they've got orange, they've got apple, and they've got. Um, Lingonberry and then Who's this? Puniki Brewery. Puniki Brew House. Uh, uh, Satamakatu uh, and <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Open Mondays for Saturdays. Uh, <laughs> now nah, they um nah, they they have um they got really good seltzers and but the blueberry one was the one I tried first again because it's just in the comfort zone. It's it's good, but it's just it's like a box soda with a touch of blueberry. Mm. All the other ones have a bit more of a kick, and yeah. I um I like the kick, but not as much as the habanero kick. What I propose we have some soda water. Mm -hmm. Should we choose one of these and mix it with some soda? Try it. Let's see how it works. Because I think it would work good with soda. Or one each. We pick one each. Yeah, I think. Shotgun. You, yeah, I think. You try that. <laughs> I could. I could do the red current. Sure. Like, because I think it's quite strong, but I think it would be like brilliant with some soda, like a bit mild down. Uh, I was guessing you're gonna go with the lingonberry. If I must. You look at them. Though, right? <laughs> if you look at them, like in the light. You can tell that it's so it's much like a red wine, doesn't it? Yeah, it's so much thicker. Yeah, compared to the other two. It looks like the here in the supermarkets. There's this kind of like 
homemade looking juices. And they sell them also in these glass bottles. It, it looks exactly That's the same. Yeah. Just see what I'm missing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it, it, like you say, it's, it's vanilla. It's mm -hmm. a vanilla essence. Like, it's, yeah. um, it's good. They're all good, obviously. Let's go for it. Like, uh, try it. Uh, throw a shot like in there. Unbranded soda water. <laughs> Because he'd be having a. Should we do the water? Here, Should we but... do the waterfall where the last one to stop pouring out? Just... <laughs> Listen, We're drinking responsibly. Are you measuring yours? I mean, I was thinking of. I'll do the same. You, you don't have to. I didn't measure mine, but I am already at home, so I've not got to worry as much about the. Uh... But considering we have been tasting a bit. Mm. Someone must have been wine tasting before this as well, haven't they? Someone must have been like. <laughs> What well, life? Some people really push their limits, eh? Yeah. And then we'll put the unbranded oh, soda yes, water. That's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. I, I have to say, can you see this? Yeah, yours, you, you drew the short straw compared to for the colours. Yeah, but, but what I mean is, like, show your show your drink. Like I said, that's thick. It looks pretty. That's what you if, you would, if you would pour this. They all look pretty, though. It looks they? nice. Look at that. That looks like I'm in the Caribbean. It looks way better than your regular vodka soda. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I mean. Like, yeah, it's good. fun. All, of, all three of them. Looks like we could be in Cabo, you know. Right, cheers. Cheers. This should be your your thumbnail, actually. Oh shit! Yeah. Shit! Yeah. Taste that. This is good. Taste that. Pass him around, boys. Pass him around. Pass him move. Oh, that's good as well. It smells like they were making Man, a mix. Man, they're so again. That, I love that, that one. Too. I think that that's really good. Oh, well, that is good as well. I'm still happy with the lingonberry. Yeah, lingonberry. That's there. a winner, right? I told you. Mixed up. I I would still choose the bilberry as a shot, but the lingonberry is a winner. So are you saying lingonberry with some sort of water? So are we just agreeing that Luke was right? Half right. Half right. <laughs> <laughs> and in second place, <laughs> third place, Mr. Red Car. <laughs> I don't know. It's good. They're all good. Like this is a bit mild. I mean, like milder than it's the weird, shot. It's weird because the shot is extremely strong. Yeah. And in the soda, I think it's the milder of them. Agreed. I prefer this second to that. And then last. But I don't know. This this vanilla fucking. I don't know the vanilla. That's wrong for me. Oh, it, it is good. Yeah. No, I like vanilla. I think that's yeah. good. But but I, but, I, but still, I would yeah, say yeah. this is yeah. winner. Yeah. It's, like, it's good. Once you mix it, beautiful. Yeah. I think. Shaman Spirits has shown your customers. Shaman, um, where's the vanilla in here? <laughs> <laughs> it's what, it's I, can, I can taste vanilla, but where is it? You're not putting it out there. I hope he's in the comments and I'd be just like, Fred, it's the second ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> it's 55% vanilla, bro. <laughs> so now we have tried everything. We tried the vodka, we tried the espresso, the three berries, and then the three liquors. Which one did you like the best? What do you think about them? Would you buy them? What's up? Well, out, of, out of everything here, if I was to buy something, I would go with this one right here. Hillberry. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's, I guess it's from my background. Like I like sweet, sweet alcoholic drinks. and This actually hit the spot. If I was to get one of the liquors here, it would be... Yeah, all day long. The tar, yeah, for sure. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is different, right? Yeah, that's the one. Like, if I, so, if I had to pick, I'll definitely get. I will get the vodka because I. I, I, did, I didn't say I wouldn't get. Yeah, that yeah, one. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so for me, the vodka is a, a a hard yes. I will buy one of these because mm. I, I really, I really liked it. As for the berries, I think I'll probably pick up a lingonberry because I just really liked it. I just it, it hit hit good for me. Um, as for the liquors, um, I probably will get one of the tar ones. Um, not because it's like excessively great for my personal taste, but it's one of those things that when a friend visits or whatever, it's something that I think. Like as for gifts, I would probably pick more actually the um, the salami or yeah. sal salamari, and that's the kind of thing I'd probably pick for like a gift for someone. But yeah, I'll, I'll buy I'll be buying myself one of the vodkas, definitely the lingonberry, and maybe the the sauna one too, as we call it. <clears throat> the sauna one. Yeah. Yes, I think I have to agree. The terva, like the tar. Yeah, mm. for sure, it's the winner there, right? In the liquors. And it's it's this kind of like I'm on a weird spot where I don't even know if that was my favorite, or it's just like 
It's so unique. It is so unique, so different. I really liked it. You know, it's this kind of yeah, thing yeah. that you drink and you're like, oh, what's this? I, I feel like I need to give it another mm. sip, just like try yeah, it. And I totally agree. I, I really liked it. And I think that's, that's something like a really nice thing to have, like a little something, a little shot, like something special yeah. that you enjoy, right? And it brings back like summer memories. I, I, we yeah. discussed it earlier, like the, the, the salmon and the plank of wood, like that brings that taste, like that's a, the thing, yeah. a memory of it. Because it's like, as we said, right, if you turn up to a, let's say you turn up to like a, a house party in Finland or a Halloween or a game night or whatever it was, and you turn up with a bottle of this, um, this shaman's, it's not that one, sorry, the, the shaman's salamari, right? People are going to enjoy it, but they're not going to, they're not going to be shocked right now. Oh my mm. God, Randy turned up with this wonderful bottle of salad because it's Finland. Mm. If you're to send to your brother in Mexico, that's 100% what you send him. He was, he was crazy. Yeah. Man. I, I have to say, I, I brought this to him and I brought him some sal salmiaki candy because he likes yeah. salmiaki. And I think half of those candies went into a vodka. Mm. So I, I would definitely bring this to Mexico next time. Like, yeah, and, and, and like if I was, if I was, like I said, if I was packaging, and you said it perfectly earlier, if you were packaging a gift for your friend from back home, I probably would do the tar and the salary together, yeah. and I probably throw in the lingonberry vodka. It's like a little little three little three packet mix. It's like this is one of the really popular Finnish berries, and these are the two these are two flavors of Finland as they actually call themselves, right? But if I was going for like what I personally want in my house, I would definitely want one of the vodkas. I definitely want the lingonberry, and I think the tar is like a nice little extra kind of. Yeah. Like I say even like not just the summer thing, but like kind of occasionally on maybe a Friday night sauna before I jump in the game like with the guys. Mm -hmm. Just have a sauna, have one of those, like just mellow out kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. Maybe not one of these, like the caf coffee, yeah. because ah, there's so many different yeah. coffee flavored liqueurs around. Like, I mean, yes, this one was different, Yeah, but there's so many different varieties. And we're we're saying, everyone knows the flavor of coffee, right? Yeah. So it's like, there's only so, so, so different you can do coffee, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. But for me, like I do, I, I do think, there's a lot, right? There's this like Mexican one mm. that everyone knows, but I feel like this one, like the liquor especially, like being so sweet, it's the kind of thing that you can have like, yeah. maybe you have a nice a nice dinner, then you have like something, like whatever dessert you have for that dinner, and instead of having coffee, you can have a shot of that. Yeah. It's just like a little, it's like part of the dessert. Yeah, because keep the dessert and have that, right? It's like very sweet. Well, I think you know like, earlier, this is the kind of thing like, I'm not a big like cake or, or ice cream fan, to be honest. But if you had like a vanilla ice cream, you poured that over, I can see why people liked it. I think the espresso one actually is better for the, the post food dessert drink. Yeah. yeah. And that's because it was a bit stronger, yeah. but it, it was more, it was like an espresso, it, was, it punched a bit harder. I agree with, yeah, I know what you mean. This for me is, for example, my mom doesn't drink that much. Yeah. Definitely. She will have a one tequila or two, like, whenever she drinks but yeah. i can see her liking that yeah. you know so like yeah. Yeah. when everyone's drinking like after like having a, this kind of digestive yeah i'm yeah. sure she will have that and be like oh man this is really good yeah. kind of thing For if sure. you want something milder it doesn't have too much alcohol it's just like a little sweet thing i think one of the main points which we probably all agree on is that when you first brought this idea about us doing the video the video on these liquors I was a bit worried there was going to be maybe 50% of it I would just not like. So you said the lot is quite yeah, yeah, yeah. true. I was a bit worried. You said there's two coffee liquors, there's a salary, there's like a, a tar one, and there's some. I was just like, I don't know, man. I, I, I like what I like, and it's quite narrow generally. I've not got a huge, broad palette. And um, I kind of thought that maybe I wouldn't like them, but quite surprisingly, all of them are good, aren't they? They're, they yeah, because are. when you asked me as well, like, you, you didn't tell me what the liquors were. You just said you got like. Um, Someone sent you this, blah blah blah. Here's the website. I actually looked at the website and I'm like, I look at what they have. I was like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can't do that. I can't do mm. that. I can't do that. And sweet lick, like, I was like, no, 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 this, no. But uh, I agree. But fuck me, you proved me wrong. Like, yeah, they, no, shaman. They fucking pretty good. I have to say <laughs> that the. Because I know, for example, Luke is like a bit picky and like he doesn't yeah, really like he doesn't yeah. have like that most much of like. There's not many things that you would judge, you know. Very narrow palette, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say it like that, but yeah. Right, and yeah. I, I know that you work in a bar, and you like I remember coming to your work, and you're like, oh, try these, like I'm mixing these and trying new drinks. So I wanted to to see both things. I also wanted to see because I know they're trying to kind of expand and like export some of these uh, like liquors. So I, th I thought it's nice because 
I didn't want to have someone that hasn't been in Finland that long. Because mm. I think you already know what's part of the culture. Yeah. You, you appreciate it as well. Because, I mean, it's our home now. But at the same time, I know that you have a different background, right? And your palate is different and you're used to different flavors. So I wanted to have those kind of yeah, both yeah, sure. views. Well, one of the benefits of bread as well is like when you said about just with me coming on at first, I was, I was happy to do it, but I was like, I'm not a bar. I've never worked in a bar. I'm not, I'm not a chef. I'm not particularly good at this, this kind of thing. So I was like, I know I can tell you what I like the taste of. I can tell you things I like. But if you said to me, I mean, Fred made a few comments about the coffee. was like, oh, that should be cold and that should be this. Mm-hmm. And then this should, you could put this with the vanilla in it. I'm like, I can't take, that's not me. Like, I can just tell you, I like that. That's good. That's no, yes, no, yes, no. That's what I can do. I can't really say Oh, that'll be perfect with a nice bit of. You mix it with a nice bit of grated ginger. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And you smack it, smack it with it, and you throw it in the glass. Smack it up. Yeah, yeah. And when you guys are like, oh, yeah, you get a board and you smoke the salmon, you slice it up, and you put. I was like, oh, you lost me there. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. That's so like, I was like, yeah, let's do this in the. Summer. I was like, well, like you have to drink that getting out of a lake. <laughs> but do we? Ha- I think we all can agree. On summer, we buy. Well, the tar. Some tar. That one. And make a salmon on the plank. Yep. Definitely. That will definitely be or, a thing. Or a pan fried chicken, as I said. Or a pan fried chicken. Yeah, I mean, we'll, and we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll let you decide who's the winner. We'll sear it and then we'll reduce it. Take the chicken. I'll put, I'll put, a, I'll put a spatchcock like a chicken and some tar. And we'll let the comments decide. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That is the winner. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do agree. I do agree. Followed by Mr. Lingleberry. <laughs> Lingleberry was a favorite, right? Yeah. Maybe it's because it's Tampere. We're used to it. Most of the on the side, you know, like. Yeah. Oh, good. I, I enjoyed all of these. Yep. At least Shamans has three new customers for sure, yep. I can tell you. And I hope you liked the video. Press like, subscribe, activate the bell, all those kind of things. And see you in the next one. Cheers, boys.